Coming up on this week's episode of The Dona Sestis. As the first couture donut shop, we've seen so many people travel from all around the world just to try our donuts. Join us as we scour the globe for you to find the best donuts, bagels, and other baked goods your money can buy. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We are back in Vegas, this time visiting St. Honoré's Donuts, Beignets, and hey, why not pizza, right? Now, in this episode, we weren't able to meet with any of the owners or managers, but this place is a kick-butt shop. So we wanted to do a full episode anyway. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this place. They are a women-owned patisserie with co-owners Alex Lords and Lynn Jerome. They're actually celebrating their fifth anniversary in 2024 of when their first location opened. So congrats on that, guys. That's a huge milestone. Now, they make about 1,500 to 3,000 donuts a day, depending on how busy it gets. They are all made from scratch. Can you believe that? That's amazing. And let me tell you, when I tasted them, you can certainly taste the love that went into making them all. They offer vegan and gluten-free donuts, which are also made daily from multiple flavor options. Now, the donuts change monthly as well, and they do have an original lineup, but they do, they do like to switch things up a bit by offering a seasonal couture donut. It's part of the fun of visiting them, so you'll want to check them out on Instagram or their website. Their website's ilovesaintonore.com or just on Instagram at ilovesaintonore. One of the owners, she goes by Alexandra Lords on Instagram. You can follow her as well. She has some really cool videos of her making donuts and whatnot, making cool designs. So definitely check them out. They're, they're definitely fun to follow. They do like to tease flavors, though, on their social pages a week before they drop. So definitely check that out. They are often raved for their dough. Sometimes they are told their dough is too dense. They have a specialty brioche dough that takes 24 hours to rise. It makes their donuts thick and delicious. It's a recipe that the owners took time to develop and worked on. As we all know, a lot of celebrities come through Las Vegas, and St. Honoré's is the destination when it comes to famous people wanting a custom donut. Custom donut? Huh? What? Yeah, last one I saw was Madonna. She placed an order for custom donuts from them. They are obviously making huge splashes in the donut world with, with their custom donuts and everything like that. They also have... A couple other brands as well, Cafe Lola and also Three Little Chicks just locally there in Vegas. So check those out as well. They're truly building a food empire in Las Vegas and there's no slowing down for them. Back to the pizza. Oh yeah, that's right, the pizza. Many people know how much waste a restaurant can put out, right? Well, these guys are doing it right. Back in 2020 during COVID, there was a huge decline in customers in so many industries, right? And especially the restaurant industry, they struggled a bit. Now, during this challenge, St. Honoré's, they discovered that the ingredients they used for their donuts and beignets could be used to make great tasting pizza dough. So rather than having the dough go to waste, they actually turned it into a fun idea so they could make fresh made pizzas. Perhaps you're having a hankering for a black truffle and honey pizza, or maybe even a margarita pizza. You got to check this place out. We tried the pepperoni pizza and also their pickle pizza, which I'm not going to lie, I kind of shied away from it at first, but I thought, you know what, you only live once, right? YOLO. I tried out the pickle pizza. Both pizzas were fantastic. Oh my gosh, the pepperoni pizza. Oh man, just look at the how crispy those are. Crisp on the ends, just curled up. Oh my gosh, it was definitely a really good pizza. So if you're looking for a good pizza in the Vegas area, most definitely check out St. Honoré's. They know what they're doing when it comes to making pizzas. All right, now we got four different donuts at St. Honoré's. The first one we got was the creme brulee. The next one we got was the apple sugar. And then the third one we got was the pistachio. And the last one we got was just called the cannoli. Let's go over the scores for St. Honoré's, shall we? Now we'll start with the creme brulee donut. Oh my, was this good. The dough, as I mentioned earlier, is a nice thick dough, but it didn't feel thick though. That's the funny thing. It was light, fluffy, airy, and the custard, Holy cannoli, was it good. Rich, creamy, and so flavorful. And did you notice the hard shell on top? Just like a regular creme brulee you'd eat. You can definitely tell they use quality ingredients. We're gonna give this one an A plus for sure. For the second one, the apple sugar donut, I do like apple pie and some other apple desserts. So I proceeded cautiously with this one and it definitely did not disappoint. The dough was the same consistency as the creme brulee one, of course. The apples had such a nice smooth flavor to them, well seasoned with spices as well. 
and it looked incredible for its presentation. This one also is getting an A-plus score. Such a great tasting donut. Drum roll for this last one. The pistachio donut was out of this world. It literally blew me back in my seat. It was that good. The dough is the same greatness as the other two, of course, but can we please go back to the flavor? This was, and I kid you not, hands down, one of the best pistachio flavored pastries I have ever had. I'm pretty sure I wept a few tears after my first bite, I'm not joking. I have tried so many pistachio flavored pastries in my lifetime so far. This one was bursting with pistachio flavor. So smooth, just so rich. Score on this one was most definitely an A+, plus, which means St. Honoré's final score is going to be an A+. Plus. Y'all are serving up some fine donuts there at St. Honoré's, and your pizza is great too, of course. Check them out, guys. See you next time. Tell us in the comments what you thought the best-looking donut was. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if there's a donut shop you'd like us to check out in your neck of the woods, go ahead and drop a comment below or email us at dough at doughnecessities.com. 